Tonight, we're taking a deep dive into the world of AI. Our AI industry being bigger than the automobile industry is your job, my job, at risk. This is a huge opportunity. In any gold rush, the people who really make the money are the ones who are selling the shovels. During a gold rush, sell shovels. Artificial intelligence or AI became accessible to the public. In this video, we will skip over the bullshit then actually build our own AI. Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki and today we'll be creating an emotion AI. This will actually give you people's emotions towards a specific topic. Say for example, you're searching for Bitcoin and want to know if people are positive about Bitcoin or negative or just neutral. Then this particular AI bot will help you do the same. All the steps would be down in the description box below. And the best part about this is that you do not need any kind of prior coding knowledge in order to start with this. It's not complex at all. And once you create your project, let me know in the comment section below and share it on socials by tagging me. I would love to see your projects. By the way, I just wanted to share an update with you guys. So I just got my own custom merch. I'll be giving these away in giveaways. Yeah, this is the merch, watermelon and there's a watermelon behind it as well. I'll be sharing all of these with you guys. So let me know if you're interested in any of it. And yeah, let's start with the video. Okay, so here we are with all the steps. Now, don't get worried or don't get scared because all of these steps would be really easy. You just have to follow me and uh, I'll be going over each of those steps as if I'm doing this for the first time. So the first thing that you need to do is download VS Code, uh, which is basically a text editor, just like your um, notepad or something, but on steroids. So uh, just go over to the link. And by the way, this entire documents link would be down in the description box below. So uh, follow along and make sure you do not lose me out on any of my steps. So over here, just download it. If you have a MacBook or Windows, download it accordingly. And uh, yeah, if you're using Linux, download it over there. Uh, after that, we have uh, Python. Okay, so you need to download Python as well because the entire code would be written on uh, Python programming language and which is quite easy to understand and beginner friendly too. So if you're, you know, starting out with your programming journey, then I would highly recommend you to check out this particular uh, project as your first project. And then we finally get into the Twitter developer account section. So over here, uh, because we would be fetching tweets from Twitter, we need a Twitter developer account, right? So how do we get that? Uh, you just have to go over to developer.twitter.com. So once you sign up with uh, Twitter API, you'd be given the essential uh, access. And uh, if you want more access, you can even opt for elevated access or you can opt for academic research as well. But uh, Let's just for the starters go with the essential part. Okay. And uh, there would be the developer portal, right? So this is the portal that I'm talking about. Let's just click it and you should see something like this. Of course, you might not have 2 million tweets and these apps wouldn't have been built for you. So uh, let's just create an app and do everything from scratch. Okay. So over here, just go over to Twitter interest, tweet interest and uh, down there you should see apps, right? So uh, over there, there should be add app. Uh, you might not have these two things because I had created them before, but uh, over here, just click on add app. Okay, over here, we are on app environment. It would be production and uh, let's just select next used for live products. So I'm hoping you guys might uh, do it for production itself. Okay, so over here you have the API key, API key secret and the bearer token. Don't worry, I'll be changing all of these things later. But um, yeah, basically just copy it and save it with yourself. So uh, keys and tokens can be fetched from here as well. So over here you can see uh, API key and secret, bearer token, access token and secret. So everything can be regenerated and revoked at the same time. Okay, so once we have all of these things, let me just go over to the next step which is uh, get the code. So right now we'll be getting the code. I have already written the code. So let's just do that. So let's just go over to this emotion AI sentiment analysis. It's there in my GitHub repository. And uh, the only thing that you need to do is first, you need to 
store this repository and that would help me and second is you need to fork this repository right so let me just fork it now i can't fork it because it's my own repository but uh, once you fork it you can then download the code uh, from here so just download the zip folder or you can even do a git clone but we won't get into all of those things so let me just download this Okay, so once you've downloaded it, the next thing that you need to do is open up Visual Studio Code. So you might have downloaded it somewhere. So just open it up. And uh, once you open it, you just need to uh, open the folder that we have downloaded. So open folder. Okay, so once you open the folder, it should look something like this. And uh, there would be this env.example file, right? So it would contain consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and all of these things, right? So um, you need to fill these information with uh, your API key from Twitter developers, right? So these were all of your keys and you need to fill them up. So consumer key, consumer secret would be uh, over here and then authentication tokens, access token and access secret would be over here. So just download it and let's uh, just fill it over here. So let me just do that. Okay, so once you've filled all of these uh, things up, make sure you're not using double inverted commas or anything. You just have to paste it directly, right? Um, now, once you've done this, you have to just close this window and rename the file to .env. Just remove the example and the last dot and it should be good to go. Okay, so let's look at our next steps. Uh, over here, we have uh, we have already starred, forked, and cloned the repository, uh, which is basically downloading it. And uh, now we have to run this particular command. So just copy it and go over to your terminal, new terminal, and just paste it over here, right? So it would download all of your dependencies and once it's downloaded, uh, you can then start using your application. And then add the command python3, make sure you add the 3, python3manage.py and then run server. It should run it now. So everything looks good and it's saying it has started development server at this particular port. So just copy this line. Okay and paste it in your browser you can even press command and click in order to launch it and there it is right so the entire website is now live let's see if it works let me search for bitcoin okay so let's see what's the analysis or emotions that people have towards bitcoin right now and uh, the minimum likes for the tweet should be around 10 uh, minimum retweets let's say two minimum replies one at least uh, maximum tweets we'll keep it to 5000 because that's the maximum amount subjectivity we'll keep it as it is and filter replies we just want the main uh, tweets and not the replies let's just submit it and see okay so bitcoin five percent positive two percent negative and if you get a really no low number when it comes to positive and negatives it's maybe because the polarity is too high so just change around and play around with the polarity let me just put it to 0.2 and see if it works better so yeah, as you can see, positive it's 29 now and negative is just 5%. And over here are all the tweets that were fetched and uh, we have successfully launched our own website. Now, if you manage to do this, make sure to mention me on Twitter. I'll be retweeting all of your tweets. Uh, also mention me on LinkedIn so that I can see all of your projects and that makes me feel good. So yeah, comment down below how you like this video. If you want to see more of such videos, the next video in the series that I'm planning on uh, doing is for making a chat bot using chat GPT. So would you guys be interested in watching that? If so, then make sure to press the like button we'll aim for at least 250 likes on this video if it does happen then we would go ahead with the next uh, project in the series so see you in the next video